Okay. Y'all, this hair down? It's like back to, you know, I've been having side part withdrawals because I've been wearing a lot of middle parts and y'all know how I feel about that. Ugh. But I feel back to myself again. You know, I feel like cool again. So, this wig that I have on is from RPG Show. And this wig is their Kim Kardashian wig. And I know I've had a few wigs like this from RPG Show, but there's something different about this one. And that's because RPG Show has upped their density, y'all. It ain't thin, though, boo. So, I'll give you the specs on this wig. Um... And all of the info, you know, the little info that I found out about it as I laid it down. Um, that you may, you may not like. Alright, because I just want to get my information right. Because y'all know how I be trying to, like, wing it and then I be all wrong. So, um, this, this is their uh, stock Kim Kardashian full lace human hair wig, which is TLB 1920-S. So, when it's a stock wig, that means that they're already ready to ship. You don't have to wait for them to be done unless they run out. But this is a stock wig. It's 20 inches, which it is true to length because um, y'all know I do not like to wear my hair this short. But it is, it's it's much easier, especially coming off 34 inches. This feels like a breeze, you know? It's cool. Um, it's silky texture. My lace color is a light brown. My cap instruction is a cap three, which is a glueless cap. Um, the cap size is a one. And remember, if you never like the, if you don't like the wigs, never cut the lace off, just in the back. Um, there are three combs, uh, there is one in the middle, and then there's two on the side, and then there's one in the back. Um, no, there's not one in the back, there's an adjustable strap. So, you know, that's cool. It's, it's not as full as I thought it was gonna be when they said they was up in a density. I thought it was gonna be, like, crazy full, but it is realistic full, meaning... It has a, you know, more of a realistic look. I wish I would have grabbed one of my older wigs so you guys could kind of see the density of that one and this one. It's a difference. It's like the density went up like by 15%, but it's not like a huge difference. But this is very realistic. This is what my hair looks like when it's flat ironed and straightened. You know, it has a very natural look to it. It's not crazy full like I'm used to. Um, but it is a natural black, so it has a natural color to it. I didn't put, when I flat ironed it, I didn't put any product in it, because I guys, I wanted you guys to see the luster, because see, if I do this, like, okay, so look at the hair now, right? Okay, this is what it looks like with just the natural luster in it. But then when I take my favorite heat protecting spray, and I put it, I'm going to show you guys how much gloss it adds to already straight hair. Okay. Now, once I take that and I do this, and then, of course, at this point, I would flat iron it, it will look like more like this. So, as you can see, the it's much shinier on this side than it is on this side. But if you did this, this little clump right here wouldn't be here. You would, obviously, the heat would dissipate the amount of shine that's in the hair. But pretty much, that's what it would do to make it look really, really, really silky. Um, and really straight and really like pin straight. That's pretty much what it would do But it's not really nothing different about this wig that my other ones. I haven't really stated Um, I've got no shedding as I shouldn't because it's a straight unit So it was easier to flat iron versus like, you know, wavy hair or curly hair. It's, it came straight. Um The parting now usually when I get an RPG show wig, it's already pre-parted but Kim's hair was, in the photo that they used, I think she had a middle part. I think she had a middle part. So this was kind of like a free-flowing situation. So I had to really go in and impress it and, you know, all the things that I usually do. There's a video on my channel about what to do when you get a fresh wig. So I had to do that in order to keep it in this particular style. But again, I wanted a side part because I haven't had one in like a minute because I've been wearing a heck out of my you know, my nice flowy hair, which I will be doing a tutorial on, by the way. So yeah, this is my wig. It's nothing special, nothing that you guys haven't heard before. But I did want to do this review because I just wanted to let you guys know they did up their density, and it does show that they're trying. And that's a good thing. It's like when a company takes the initiative to say, okay, maybe we are sending out not enough hair. It does move. Because I remember my other units, especially when they get longer, and it's not a lot of hair. It looks really bad because it's like, you have 32 inches of thin, and it's not attractive. It's not selling the gag. So, yeah. Again, it's all lace. It's not a silk top, which 
I don't know if RPG Show has silk top wigs. If you guys do, please correct me. But I don't think that they carry many silk top units, which I would like for them to do because you guys know how I feel. I really just don't like lace. Like, it just does not look natural to me. Um, and I have to use concealer and all of that good stuff, which I don't like to do because it's more one work. And two, if you get this close to my scalp, you're going to see I got holes right there, you know. But if you're not a person that that bothers them much, then this will be okay with you. But to me, I just prefer silk top over lace any day. That's just what I like. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.